Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So I'm looking at this interesting exponential equation. The question is how to solve x cubed is equal to 3 to the power of x. For this question, we will be using this Lambert function specifically. But just by taking a look at it through the inspection, we can get one answer almost immediately. That is x is equal to 3. Because 3 cubed is equal to 3 cubed. So one solution, let me call it as 1, x is just equal to 3. But then again, if you're using this Lambert function, then we can confirm this 3 as your solution too. So that's why let's work on the Lambert function in order to get your answer for this question, right? So number 2. So Lambert function is just looking like in the form of x times e to the power of x is equal to a. This is your Lambert form. So that is why I will be working on this expression, this equation, in order to make it a Lambert form, right? So first thing I need to do is I'll be raising your left and right hand side to the power of one third. Then we will have okay, x cubed to the power of one over three. This is gonna be equal to three to the power of the x. to the power of one third. So that's why using multiplication rule for the exponential operation. Now we will have just x that is equal to three to the power of x over three. Okay, this is what we have. So what I'm going to do now is I'll be multiplying um, three to the power of negative x over three on the left and right hand side of this equation, right? Then we will have Okay, so x times, on the left hand side we should have x times 3 to the power of negative x over 3. This is going to be equal to 3 to the power of x over 3 times 3 to the power of negative x over 3. So if you go ahead and multiply this, these two terms on the right hand side, it is going to be just equal to 1, right? Because the right hand side is going to be 3 to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. So we will be using this equation, x times 3 to the power of negative x over 3 is equal to 1. On the next slide. So what do we have here? We have now x times 3 to the power of negative x over 3, this is equal to 1. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'll be actually changing this into the form using e to the power of the ln. That is pretty straightforward that we have x times, now at this time your left hand side is the same expression as e to the power of ln 3, multiplied by okay, negative x over 3. This is equal to 1 because I didn't do anything on the right hand side. So that's why we can rewrite this as now x times e to the power of, at this time, negative ln 3 times x over 3. This is equal to 1. Right, so maintaining this, uh, the Lambert form, that we can use this u as the, as the custom, right? So if you use the u, then we can call this u as Okay, negative ln 3 times x over 3. Then your x is going to be equal to negative 3 times u over uh, ln 3. This is what we have for the expression of the x, right? So that is why we can rewrite this equation as, now at this time, okay, I'll be making parentheses. And then we have negative 3u over uh, ln3. Okay, close the parenthesis, then we will have e to the power of u. This is equal to 1. So that is why this is going to be the same expression as u times e to the power of u. This is now equal to negative ln3 over 3, which is going to be your Lambert form, right? That is what we wanted, so that's why we can talk about two values of the u using this Lambert form. That is, one of them is u is going to be equal to this w using this negative 1, and then we will have parenthesis negative 
ln 3 over 3. The value of this is going to be then equal to negative ln 3. Okay, the second one is this w0. This is going to be, and also we have the parenthesis as negative ln 3 over 3. The value of this is going to be the second value for the u. Okay, so that's why we need to think about what we actually said u to. We said u that was equal to um, negative ln 3 times x over 3, right? This was what we said u equal to. So that is why case number 1. Now we need to solve it. Case number 1 is going to be... Okay, now we have um, negative ln 3 times x over 3. This is equal to now negative ln of 3. So that's why we can cancel these two out. Then what we have is now this negative x over 3 is going to be equal to negative 1. So that is why your x is equal to just to 3. Okay, so this confirms that this uh, the value of 3 that we just got through the inspection in the beginning. So, this is one solution. And then we need to move on to the second case, right? The second case, we will be working on this x now at this time. Okay, negative ln 3 times x over 3. This is now equal to W0 parenthesis negative ln 3 over 3. So if you calculate this, then your x is going to be equal to okay, negative 3 times W0 parenthesis, then we have negative ln 3 over 3. Closer parenthesis. Okay, that's divided by just ln3, right? This is the second value of the x. If you calculate this, then I got about... Second value, if you calculate this, then I got around like 2.1, 2.478, and so on. So that is your second value of the x. So these two are the, the answer for this question, right? So pretty interesting exponential equation, so I'll be back with more videos for more questions like this sometime soon.